Hi, it's Brian Timoney here, and um, yeah, let's talk about Van Tangoff. He was an interesting guy. He's uh, his theatre company is now a hundred years old, and he was, um, you know, he was very active around the early 1900s, and he was the first method man, in my humble but accurate opinion. Um, now, why do I say that? Well, he was the man that really tested Stanislavski's technique. He took Stanislavski's system and he really stretched it. He wanted to see what it was capable of doing. Um, one of the, the first productions he dealt with that he directed was called The Deluge. And he really got the actors to, to go deep into the psyche of the characters. Um, he got them to really live through it. And it was quite a traumatic play because it was about... Uh, a group of um, people that were stuck in a, in a bar underground, as it were, a basement bar, uh, facing the prospect of dying in the basement bar from a flood. And so these characters had to go through or went through a transformation of being quite flawed characters to begin with and then realised actually they were about to die and became nice people for a moment. And then, of course, when they realised they weren't going to die, they, they transitioned back to being, you know, their, their flawed self. Now, when people came to see this play, they were struck by just how real it was and how, um, you know, it really felt to the audience that they were living through it with these characters. And people came out psychologically disturbed, apparently. They were really kind of affected by it. And even Stanislavski said, look, Van Tangoff, it was brilliant, but, you know, I, I think that even this might be too much. In a way, he was telling them it's too method. So Van Tangoff decided to do something completely different the next time. He took a play that was what we call a Commedia dell'arte play. And that is basically um, a, a kind of early form of uh, Italian street theatre. And it's kind of where pantomime comes from, but they, they played stock characters on the streets and they made up these stories. And anyway, Van Tangoff decided to take this highly stylized physical form of theatre and apply the method to it. And he did. And it was, um, to this day, revered in Russia as one of the, the um, artistically brilliant um, uh, you know, productions of, of the day. Um, and he really got them to transform the actors, not only transformed once, but three times um, during that production. Because not only did he get them to play the, the characters within the play, who were Commedia dell'arte um, type stock characters, but he... He got them also to imagine that they were an Italian troupe who were putting on that play. And so they were actually doing a triple transformation. They were members of the Moscow Arts Theatre and then they decided to, you know, to kind of assume this new company of Italian actors um, that were putting on the Commedia dell'arte play. So really, you know, several transformations there in the process. Amazing piece of work. And, um, and of course, Van Tangoff taught a guy called Richard Boloslavsky, who later taught the inventor of modern method acting, Lee Strasberg. So it's a very strong through line from Van Tangoff to Lee Strasberg himself, inventor of modern method acting. So you should check him out. Interesting guy. And like I say, um, his theatre company is 100 years old. Um, yeah, this year.